I don't want to speak for somebody else, but that was, I think, probably like the final straw for Lenny. I, I, I will never forget getting 10 3 by Slags. I like and I had to go to the other side. Well, good morning, first of all. So essentially, uh, we're going to go over things again, at least from your perspective. Give us every minute detail you possibly can. All right. So what, what do you want to talk about? Well, first of all, the whole Lenny situation stemming from the Bay City Bank robbery. And then secondly, your like uh, grievances again and issues that you see. Uh, Got on duty. <clears throat> was going to ride with Bay and Lenny. Debated splitting up. We noticed when we got on duty, there were like a billion 37 calls up north that no one responded to uh we went to go up there there's some other stuff before that apparently there's a chase maple i guess disagreed with something when he did i forget what it was and maple basically broke rto and comms to like scold lenny and tell him what he did was wrong so lenny 10 3 him and said rto i guess that turned into a complaint basically your maze bank pops off there was like i don't know maybe maybe six units there was nobody in the upper part of the bank they were looking around slacks was i guess dictating we were coming from the north chase starts with this van we attached the chase to help we weren't pitting or anything everyone was kind of unsure of how to proceed because it was a bank robbery but they were fleeing in a van that goes like 40 miles an hour at some point during the chase car basically just like drives through lenny and i from behind no warning no provocation anything just we were just chasing so we call out that we were going to attach to that vehicle so we stick on that vehicle basically just trying to keep it off the chase because at that point it's kind of a damned if you do damned if you don't right so they had more units that were telling us they were gonna attach to the main chase so we broke off to chase the interference car just to keep them away at some point they broke off so we reattach we're on the main chase again now that interference car shows up again they called it out as you know interfering or dangerously or whatever lenny and i basically calmed yep same car that rammed us earlier lenny then uh, aggressively pitted the car the car then started fleeing from us and lenny basically said he had already warned them that if they re-entered the chase or did anything dangerous again they were gonna get shot in his mind they did so so then he started opening fire the car managed to get away we called out multiple times that we had open fire and we were pursuing the suspect blah 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 i got on foot they jumped over and started chasing into the actual site she called out that he was climbing the construction site I went to assist. Uh, she goes up a level above me. I go around a corner. I hear a shot. She's down. So I immediately call out, you know, 78s. They shot Bay. I continue climbing the ramp in pursuit of the suspect. So there's people coming that he's on the Western building or the Southern building. So I go across the ramp, still just trying to get eyes. I don't see him. I go up to the top. I then hear a footstep very close to me, basically end up in a gunfight with this guy because I thought he was further away, but he's right <coughs> on top of me. I go down. I hear more comms between Lenny getting eyes on the suspect against the suspect ran back towards the area where i entered lenny i guess got down by him in some kind of altercation the whole time there were several cops there who did not try to help us we all go down i get up out of the hospital i realize you know some of the units just didn't respond to us getting shot namely there were two people in mrpd handling foyas at the time who despite us getting shot did not break off of that did not even leave mrpd didn't even try to come help uh, they didn't break off the main chase either until we had all gone down flax kind of yells at me and he's like hey where's your car and i was really confused i was like i don't have a car he then relayed that a police car was stolen turns out it was lenny's car so i guess nobody had taken secured our car that was i think probably like the final straw for lenny i don't want to speak for somebody else but i'll give you my perspective i'm not certain that you guys really understand what's been going on so let me ask you this Mm -hmm. Why do you guys think that I had that surfer bro persona for a while? Because of the hair. Uh, I know exactly why. Why? Uh, because you think that we're worried about the little th things instead of the bigger things. Kind of. The reason I had the surfer bro persona is because it, it really feels like you guys are trying really hard to instill a sense of like what it means to be a police officer and professionalism and things like that. People are not doing their job to a minimum professionalism. The really hard thing for like Lenny and I 
guy is sure you know we like manga and we talk about japan and made cafes and all that but that's just like our personality right in terms of doing the job lenny and i wrote our reports we worked with attorneys and it felt like it felt like it would have been better for us to not do our jobs but be really friendly me kind of adopting that surfer bro persona was kind of me testing the waters on that because i didn't want to believe it but i literally walked around you know smoking cbd on scenes and talking about how much i love third eye blind and all this other garbage and people were really psyched by that and really happy to be around me and it was really great because you know i drove around at 35 in the city and i didn't authorize pits and i didn't you know i didn't do my job i let off people with warnings and you know there were some scenes where i had to do my job you know for the most part <coughs> uh, i wasn't doing my job because i thought that's what people want that was right the most comfortable i've ever felt in the pd the most appreciated the most supported the most encouraged i've ever felt insane uh, was when i didn't do my job mm. so uh my perspective is that lenny lenny's lenny right lenny's arrogant lenny's uh full of himself you know he's got his flaws right but his flaws were personality quirks that i think could have been managed just like i think that our personality quirks like liking manga and wanting to have trunks hair could have been managed but it felt like the way we were managed was basically just told that like we weren't adhering to the SOPs and that's why what we were doing was wrong. And the backstop for that was a generalized idea of professionalism. The people so were, I became, go ahead. So people were like telling you you were like not professional beyond like the hair stuff? Yeah, just in general, like the, the, the feeling and the attitude we received from other people. I think there were some people that like, you know, played along with our dumb shit, right? I mean, Cornwood would like bow with us and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, York over here, you know, let me call her York Sama and stuff. Like, oh, we tolerate those guys because they get results, basically. It didn't feel like we were appreciated because we were good cops. It felt like we were tolerated. We were like a necessary evil. And anytime a scene came down to having to like actually get aggressive with someone, it always fell down to like Lenny and I. There were many times where Slacks, you, Chief, Ruby, you guys were just not able to be in the field. And I'm not criticizing you for that. I'm just putting it bluntly that it was left to sort of the inmates to run the asylum because the seniors that you have in shift two are dog shit. They, they don't lead, <laughs> they don't do their job. If anything, they just use being a senior as a shield to just get away with not doing their job. <laughs> but anyway, it's not about use of force or anything like that it's about the fact that as like a family and as a team pd never wanted us <laughs> you guys sit here and think about like you know why we made like a our own unit and stuff well that's because we we typically had to beg for people to back us up this whole thing with like the turbo god i heard some of the stuff that slacks was yelling on the radio i don't know if people don't give you guys feedback properly for a <laughs> captain in shift two to think that the issue was the turbo is like mind blowing to me sorry for my language but no you're good i think it's definitely a combination I, I of both people not communicating things properly but also it's not going about it the proper way uh you you guys have a hard job trying to like establish your chain of command and all that but it seems like the I speak freely nobody's gonna hold no, it against I'm, you. I'm just trying to think how to phrase it uh it genuinely feels like that we were supposed to be the biggest fuck ups in the PD, if that makes sense. Hmm. It feels like the PD doesn't have any self awareness. I, I I will never forget getting ten threed by slacks. That that to me was one of the most absurd slaps in the face, the most out of touch, disconnected, completely just useless things I've ever seen happen on PD. I mean, there were three units on duty. We were ping ponging back and forth from the north to the south. We were answering nine one 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 calls there's no ems on duty we're literally going and like scraping people off the road and getting them to the side so their friend can come self-transport them like it, it was to the point where we couldn't even ride together we were in three separate cars because lenny bay and i were three people out of like four cops on duty five cops on duty and if we had ridden together it would have been like three units so we're not even riding together we're split up trying to do our best and the one thing that we had uh that kept morale up in that time was the fact that we could you know communicate on the radio freely because it was just us so to have and look i'm not saying you guys didn't need to have that meeting that meeting needed to happen i get that but the 
audacity to know that we're in that position, know that the city's on fire, know that we're the only people out there patrolling, and then to, by the way, didn't react to any of the 77 calls, any of the, you know, urgent calls that were going on, any of the priority calls, not a peak but to to pipe up and say rto 103 because someone said something casually on the radio when you've been basically not around for the last three hours is crazy sorry what were you saying you were uh, is this back to when the seniors had a meeting is that correct yes. as well okay yeah this was the uh meeting on the yeah, south I, side I, yeah i didn't even know the meeting was going on until the end so all of all okay. of all of uh, okay. there were like 10 people at that meeting which is fine i get it you need everyone to be on the same page i'm not contesting that and guess what i didn't about that i was out doing my job as was lenny as was bay as were a couple other people i can't remember who was on duty mm -hmm. but it was to the point where when someone signed on duty to actually go 10 8 it was like a fucking celebration to then get on radio and be like rto 10 3 in a dismissive tone is is bonkers like, I, I just i don't understand i, I really don't if, if that's the priority like man the most effective culture change that has resulted through daps and such was basically setting limits on like uniform sops and hair color and shit the stuff about repairing vehicles people still don't do that it genuinely feels like the same issues that i saw when i came into this pd on day one are still present and they have not been addressed so yeah it's frustrating and i can understand not justify but understand where lenny's coming from because we genuinely felt like we were taking on burdens that other people didn't want and then our thanks for that was to be critiqued micromanaged you know dismissively 10 3 left to get shot while other people are doing paperwork or chasing the car so yeah i, I can see why he lost it